Oh boy, another instance of an ovarian creature saying something asinine, which means it's a day ending in Y. This time, Sydney Watson. Again, apparently she didn't take my advice last time to just shut up. Then again, female, let's not expect miracles over here. You know, between her, Lauren Southern, and Ashley Sinclair, it's like the three stew jets of faux right-wing cringe. So she shared this. It's bizarre how videos of women having fun and being silly always seem to go viral on this app and a bunch of angry little people grow a pair of balls and say, men, we all know who you mean, try to turn it into some broad conversation about women in the workforce, voting, etc. Let people enjoy things. Also, Sydney, corporate feminism is bad for business. The women destroying Star Wars. Gen Z busts in a mini. Itty bitty titties in a bomb. Five foot three in an attitude. Secret product in a trench. New friend green and a sneaky link. I have low esteem for everyone else. Yes, I cut it down to size because I don't hate all of you. Or myself, for that matter. Apparently, this was to promote a soap company or something. Don't know, don't care either way. Because it's cringe. If men did this, it'll be mocked too. To be honest, I think getting angry at women having fun is way more cringe than this video. Sydney, no one is angered by this. It either gives them Forrest Whitaker eye or causes them the facepalm because this is cringe and gay. The comments, however, naturally were not forgiving, and frankly, thank God for that. Hell, even Sargon coming in here with a bit of a redemption arc. Well done to him, by the way. Especially after he got shredded for that piece defending women on the right several months ago. It's because they are unserious and childish. True. These people expect respect for the positions they hold, then trivialize themselves like this and wonder why people don't respect their authority. If women expect to be taken seriously by others, they need to behave seriously. My good God, the concept of equality. Shame it'll fall on deaf ears, case in point. Sydney, missing it, obviously. Oh no, how dare a group of women have fun and post it on the internet. Have you considered doing that not at work and not during office hours, or does this concept confuse your already dim-witted noggin? But seriously, this argument doesn't even make sense. It's not like they're in a board meeting acting like this. Okay, so you are admitting this behavior is inappropriate for a workplace environment. Interesting omission, that one, and the reason they wouldn't be is because in a board meeting, <laughs> they'd be men. They made a video for social media and it's clearly promoting their brand as they had hoped. Even though no one can tell what the hell is being advertised here. And then there's me. It doesn't make sense to you because you're not a man. We don't expect you to understand you're proving their point. Also, shout out to Salty there saying women shouldn't vote. Very based. I'm glad to see more blokes hopping on board the train of sanity. Now. Let me explain this, because this is very, very simple stuff. It revolves around this magical thing called standards, something women have yet to be uh, reintroduced to since it fell out of favor in the 1960s hippie era thanks to a vat of acid. Men and women are not equal, and I will keep saying that until I am hated for it. Women produce children, men produce society. This is how our species functions, classic division of labor. Because I am a man, I have a penis, and the magical ingredient that heightens the Huang wisdom and the pattern recognition. I understand that social media exacerbates certain kinds of behavior. It thrives on the sex shock and stupid. Whether it's Sydney's video on the 19th Amendment, Lauren's one on women, or Ashley Sinclair getting annihilated in the comments section on the trigonometry video. And I have noticed the comments on these posts and videos have a colossal mountain of feedback from men all focused on their behavior. Look at Sargon's post there. It's because they are unserious and childish. These people expect respect for their positions they hold and trivialize themselves like this and wonder why people don't respect their authority. Well, women shouldn't have any power and authority. That's what men are for. But notice, there's no mention of women, only people and inappropriate behavior. And for whatever reason, these bloody female content creators can't seem to get that through their heads. Philosophy Cat, who also blocked me because she couldn't handle blunt South African opinion, some people are really triggered by women being silly and having fun. P.S. No, they are not. It's so fucking obvious how many people will use women doing anything at all, innocuous or otherwise, to shit on them. Like, we get it, you don't like women. Stop hiding behind retarded pseudo-intellectual arguments. No, Sydney, actually, very evidently, you don't get it, which is fucking astonishing considering your post, much like every other one that's drowning in cringe, has a shit ton of men explaining to you over and over again the problem with this. None of which you have any response to, by the way. Cope and seethe. 
It's like, have you considered that your miserable and grouchy attitude is the problem? Have you considered that the so-called miserable and grouchy attitude is a consequence born of your behavior? No, apparently not. It seems to be far above your range of midward capacity to reason, or rather lack thereof. Heaven's sake, if a bunch of men behave this exact same way, the comments would still say the same damn thing because it was directed at behavior, not sex. I don't know if it's because these women are disingenuous or playing the algorithm game or they are genuinely stupid, but they seem to either fail to understand or perhaps care rather that doing the same stupid thing over and over again might instill in the male mind some kind of perception of the behavior of modern women. Shocking! Much the same way that failure to take heed why men find this behavior abhorrent as they explain it repeatedly and you either fail to grasp the merits of their critique because you're too stupid or blindly ignore it out of an inflated sense of ego will lead them to conclude that women are kind of ditzy and thick. My word, this isn't rocket science. This is basic pattern recognition 101 over here. Prolonged exposure to these kinds of patterns will heighten the senses of the males and cause them to adjust their expectations accordingly, and repeated interactions with them will increase the sensitivity, reduce the length of the fuse, and cause them to reach the ditzy moron conclusion faster with increasingly less benefit of the doubt. Historically, because responsibility comes with consequences and the burden of responsibility was always on the shoulders of men, seeing as they hold the monopoly on force, women don't seem to be wired to understand the concept of male-oriented consequences, which is the spaces they are attempting to occupy now and failing miserably at it. This is the reason why there is such a focus on removing the rights of women to vote. And I will keep saying this too, because men care about society, they care about function. Modern women only care about themselves. And these so-called anti-woke LARPing conservative women are the same vibe of cringe. They're hooked on attention, same as every other female. They don't listen to men, they don't care to, and the moment you try to explain any of this, they revert to the leftist response of, what do you mean we can't do whatever the hell we like all the time? Consequences, what are those? Men don't hate you because you're women, they hate you because your behavior is stupid and you're destructive to society. Especially in the wake of the Trump shooting and the incompetent cock-up of the Secret Service there. I mean, look at this. From the diversity Cheeto herself, there is a safety factor that would be considered there. That we wouldn't want to put somebody on a sloped roof. How about the safety of the person you're supposed to protect, you incompetent imbecile? Secure the building from the inside. Yeah, how did that one turn out? I have no words. Oh, and by the way. To the male content creators who commented on this, the ones who went, well, we're not saying all women, all of that bollocks, chaps, you have a history-defining example of their undeniable inadequacy here, and you still want to play this hashtag not all political BS? Are you freaking kidding me? If after all of this, you are not 100% on board a flat-out rejection of all women when it comes to the arena of force, I don't know what to tell you. If you were some higher profile figure, would you want any females protecting you? No, you freaking wouldn't. Look at them in the political arena. What do they do with the capacity to vote? What do they desire? Oh, right, abortion. As they claim they are more than just their bodies and vote based on sexual motivations. And then wonder why no one takes them seriously. No, no, no. I must have a say because my handmaid's tail is some stupid shit. And by the way, this is how you can identify a female with a brain. One capable of understanding maths. Ask them how they feel about the 19th, because the smartest women I know will either give up the right to vote because they know it doesn't matter, or they understand for every smart female like them, there's nine other ones that are dumb as a stump, and so their intellect and wit is drowned by a horde of morons, and so no women voting actually produces better outcomes. Every bloody female political figure at some point focuses on women's issues, never on anything to do with men. Men focus on both because society includes both. Hell, men accrue resources to court a damn female. Family, safety, pass on genes, keep the species going. Do they know how any of society works? No, they haven't a freaking clue. Let me end it with this. This is from Marianne Williamson. She was a Democratic candidate in this cycle. Not that any of that matters. No one cares. But anyway, she's having a bit of a melter here thanks to J.D. Vance being selected as VP because, you know, drama is all they have. Watching male voices agreeing with and even celebrating J.D. Vance's misogynistic comments, I see us retreating to a psychologically barbaric civilization. Do you see what I mean with the drama? You live in the 21st century West. You wouldn't know barbarism if a drop kicked your dentures out of your face. These people are over-exaggerating idiots. It actually bothers me the childishly absurd notions of drama these dimwits spew. 
and they're supposed to be the adults in the room? Like, the level of weakness shown by these humans who talk like this considering the unimaginable luxury they live in is deeply embarrassing to me. Mocking women, controlling women, in any way suppressing women is a way of making sure civilization does not move forward. This is not a moment to just roll your eyes, considering our present state of affairs to say this out loud smacks of tone deaf at best and straight up learning disability at worst. You know what fascinates me? At no point do women ever realize equality is a complete farce, born of politics and nothing else. It has no basis in reality in any way whatsoever. The only reason they have rights at all, liberties or capacity to do anything of their own volition, is because of the graces of the men around them, because men enforce those rights. At no point, because it is utterly unnatural for them to realize this because they are the beneficiaries of politics and so they can't, will they understand the standards that men innately set for each other will be applied to them as well. This is why any criticism of them is reflexively met with the label of misogyny because they've never been held to the same standards as men. The reality is, the overwhelming majority of them simply just aren't good enough. And by the way, look at our numbers here. This woman has over two and a half million followers. I have well under 3,500. She gets 184,000 views, 1,100 and something likes. I get just over 5,000 views, but I have about 30% of the likes she gets. That's insane. And by the way, the post, hilarious. It's full of men trolling her. Fantastic. She talks about suppressing women and controlling women ensures civilization doesn't move forward. So I simply ask, give me a single example of how listening to your sex has improved civilization as a whole. Even one example. This woman on the right here, Mary Kirst, who also blocked me and deleted the post, I wonder why. Thankfully, I jotted her down, wrote the following. Women having control over their reproduction is a sign of a country emerging from poverty. In many countries, women aren't even allowed to say no to sex. First off, the latter there implies access to sex. That's not even a function of reproduction. That's a cultural problem. That's laws and etiquette. The first one implies you were under restriction and now when a nation builds wealth, women somehow being able to have more sex with less chance of getting pregnant or giving birth is somehow better for society. The most generous interpretation I can get from this is the very gift of womanhood you consider a problem and the wealth of the nation needs to be spent on you becoming part of production. To make a long story short, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a very long-winded way of saying all of you have penis envy. With all of that being said, let me ask a question here. Considering how many of you whine constantly about men in power, and now you tout equality and cheer every time there's some historic moment because someone with a vagina now claims a position of authority traditionally held by men, how many things can you fuck up before we are permitted to notice your sex does a piss poor job? Or does that equality not apply to you, you cowardly bunch of hypocrites? Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing. <laughs>